The pearl marrow is a tight uniform edge or hem that is ideal for delicate fabrics or garments such as wedding dresses, lingerie, evening wear, and even home decor. The machine creates a narrow rolled hem that is bound securely with the looper threads to secure all raw edges, and like an overlock machine, it trims away all excess fabric beyond the stitch width. This machine is set up with three threads, one top needle and polyester overlock thread, and two woolly nylon threads for the lower looper, which travel side by side through the machine for a denser fill in the final stitch. But it can also be set up for just a single looper thread. The threading instructions are posted on the wall next to this machine if you ever need to review. Always remember to thread the lower looper first and then complete the threading for the top needle. To thread the lower looper, slide open the top plate, open the side door to view the inside of the machine, and raise the lever to release and swing open the presser foot. This way we have a clear view of the needles. Just like the overlock machine, this machine has an active blade, so always thread the machine with the power turned off. Bring the two woolly nylon threads up through their thread guides on the cone stand and down towards the machine. These two threads will now travel together as one. Bring the threads through the stationary tension guide and through the tension plates on top of the machine. It is important with this machine that you wrap the threads in one full rotation between these plates to guarantee proper tension. Continue threading through a series of stationary and active thread guides on the face of the machine. Next, the thread travels under the plate which catches the blade trimmings through another stationary thread guide and then straight upwards until it reaches a small channel and tunnel. Threading through this tunnel is the trickiest step with this machine. You'll need to use a threading tool and the eye of the looper needle must be perfectly in line with the tunnel. Spin the flywheel until you can see the lower looper bobbing towards the left. You'll be able to tell when the looper aligns correctly because you'll be able to push the threading tool all the way through. Once the looper is threaded, pull your threads out towards the back of the machine. We can now close up the side door and top plate. Bring the top thread up through the thread guide on the cone stand and down towards the machine. Travel through a stationary thread guide, a second thread guide behind the tension plates, and then through the tension plates in a clockwise direction. You do not need to double wrap the thread for this tension plate. Next, the thread must feed through a small tube. Use tweezers or a threading tool to assist with this step. The threading of the needle is obstructed from the front of the machine, so you will need to lean in to get a clearer view from the side. Once the thread funnels out of the base of the tube, run it through another guide and then catch on the bobbing hook. You may need to spin the flywheel for these to be visible. Bring the thread forward over the hex nut which secures the needle. In that hex nut there is a small channel where the thread travels through, and then thread the needle from front to back. These needles are slightly trickier to thread as they are curved, so using a thread guide or tweezers may be helpful. Bring all the thread tails out towards the back of the machine and return the presser foot to its locked position. The machine is now threaded and we're ready to sew. The Pearl Marrow machine creates a very narrow rolled hem measuring approximately an eighth of an inch wide. The blade will trim away any excess fabric beyond the stitch width, so be sure to factor this into your pattern draft. Do not use pins when operating this machine as they will severely damage the blade and the machine. When you're finished sewing, always leave a long tail for the next student and clear away any scraps or debris from the table and floor.